Hello friends. In today's video, we are going to talk about drill through. Uh, this question was posted on Power BI Community Forum. Um, the, let's look, look at the question. So the question was, I have two pages, source page and destination page. I applied the drill through in the destination page. When I'm drilling from source page, I'm getting specified drill date. That's how it works. If I remove keep all filters, I'm getting all the dates by the category, which is of course makes sense. But the requirement here is that if a user, when user drill through uh, from a date to the drill through page, he wants to see 30 days of data and also want to see the slicer for 30 days where um, he, he can further filter the drill through page on those dates. Uh, it's really interesting uh, question again. Um, let's look at Power BI and uh, I will walk through how I solved it. Here I have a simple uh, metrics table uh, where we have a data by cities and date and some uh, metrics, just the columns, uh, sum. And um, I created a drill through page, uh, basically um, keep all filters here. So uh, I, I'm, I'm filtering on cities, for example, and then keep all filters on. So the behavior is uh, in, in normal drill through is when we are drilling through from uh, this uh, row, go to the drill through page. Uh, what happens is keep all filters, keep both the filters on the city and the date. So that's why the date is italic because that is part of the keep all filters. If I turn off keep all filters uh, and I'll go back to my page one and drill through on any of the date or the row here, I go to drill through page. And now what I see is it's uh, filtering on the city uh, on city A, we are not seeing the city B, but it's giving all the dates. Uh, again, going back to the user question, the question was when user drill through from this, let's say user drill through from uh, this particular row where the city is A and the, also on the date. So on the drill through page, user should see up to 30 days, up to the record up to 30 days, which is pretty much like up to the 28th of uh, April and then have a slicer on that page, which allows to pick and choose between those 30 days. So if user is drilling through from 19th of April, so 19th of April plus 30 days, that's the data the drill through page should show. And also the date slicer should show that date range uh, to, um, you know, so the user can further filter the drill through page. Now, out of the box functionality, as we saw, that is not possible. Either you see all the dates if you have keep all filters off or if you have a keep all filters turned on, you only see the dates from which you are um, uh, drilling through or coming drill through coming from. Um, so the, the, we are only seeing that date. So how are we going to solve it? Uh, let's get to the solution. So quickly look at the model. What we have here is a simple table. Uh, data table of course and then I have a calendar table as a we are looking at the dates and then because we need the 30 days and then I have another calendar drill down table which uh, is, will be a hidden table because this is only going to be used in the drill down page so both those tables are connected with my table one in in my main page page one I'm using my regular date from my regular calendar table so we're going to write a measure where we are going to over uh, we are going to remove the filter coming from the page one to the drill through page and then apply our own filter uh, for 30 days in a measure. So I already wrote, uh, wrote a measure for this. So just quickly walk through that measure. So what this measure is going to do is uh, on I call it HP drill through just took one of the column uh, HP. So I'm taking like what is my starting date is going to be. So when I'm filtering from my page one, from my drill through page and go to uh, from my page one to drill through page. So now the date one is 13 uh, April, right? So that's what uh, that date is. So in my measure, what I'm doing, what I'm doing here is my maximum calendar date. So that will be the date with what we saw in the drill through page. That's the one which we are getting. 
and then days 30 I just stored in the variables how many number of days we want to uh, uh, go so which is simple now this one is simple measure which is sum of the column uh, and then I'm removing the filter which is coming on calendar date and we saw when we drill through the page when we go from page one to the drill through page there is a date filter applied on that so we are removing that filter I'm removing the filter on my calendar date the reason I need to remove the filter because our calendar date is filtering our uh, our table one and currently calendar date is filtered on April 1st so we want that remove uh, we want to remove that filter so that our table one is not filtered anymore on the date and then I'm applying another filter on the calendar drill down for 30 days so we are using dates in period calendar drill down and we are saying the starting date is what the current date is being selected or then the drill through page which is April 1st in this case and then number of days we want to move forward 30 days and the last element is whether it's a days or months so we want uh, 30 days so now I have this particular measure uh, done what I need to do is in my drill um, in my drill through page I again put my cities I put the date column now this date column will be used from the calendar drill down not my regular calendar because regular calendar is currently filtered on April 1st and I can't control that so I'm putting my own um, uh, I'm using my own uh, now calendar this uh, this table uh, if to see the date and then I'm using my new measure and as you can see now we are seeing the 30 days of data starting from 1st April to 28th of uh, um, April so let's go back to page one and let's pick any other date uh, let's pick uh, April 22nd if we drill through from this page into our uh, drill down 30 days page so what we see here is so starting from April 22nd it goes to 30 days that's the only data available and so now we are seeing so April 22nd is the drill um, is the filter so that's what we see in the 30 days data until this point the matrix visual is working everything is working this is great the solution is but there is another twist what the user asked if the user want is to have a filter on this page a date filter slicer where he uh, for the 30 day slicer and then further can um, slice this data but he wants to see only those 30 days so how are we going to achieve that I have created another measure here um, this measure is um, simply the same thing starting date is our max calendar date which is based on the a key on the filters coming on this page and 30 days the only is it's more or less the same measures what we're doing is the count rows uh, on the calendar drill down so it will give us whatever the dates falls within the 30 days we get the value one for other ones we will get the value blank i just want to quickly show you that so if uh, if I put the date in here uh, from my calendar drill down table and then I put this measure filter dates in here what you will see is only we seeing the one we are seeing the 30 days so basically starting from April uh, 22nd that is our starting date why this is our starting date because this is where how this page is being filtered if I go back to page one and uh, let's I filter from April 13 and go to my drill through 30 drill down to 30 days page so what uh, my starting is now 13th of April up to uh, 12th of May so that is 30 days so now these are the dates what I need to be uh, slicer uh, put the slicer on so what I can do is change this maybe use this as in a slicer uh, of course I cannot do do that uh, on this one I can remove this and change this visual to slicer and now it's showing me all the dates what I need to do is the filter which I created uh, I will put that as a visual level filter filter date is node blank apply so now here you go now what we have is starting from 13th of April to um, uh, May, uh, uh, 12th of May, we have that filter. 
So now Slicer is showing the 30 days date range. So let's go back to page one and uh, use pick another date. Let's say we pick from uh, May 25th. Drill through, drill down 30 days. And what we have is now starting from a May 25th up to a June uh, 23rd. I think that's probably the uh, dates we have in the data. Um, so now what we are doing here is we were we are able to overwrite the drill down uh, the filters on the uh, drill through page um, out of the box. Um, it has either keep all filters or uh, we give the columns on which we want the filter. Uh, but what we can do is keep all filters on and uh, then we created our own measure. Uh, to override those filters with the disk uh, with the with the uh, with the another date table which I call date drill down or calendar drill down, and uh, uh, calendar drill down, and from there uh, we we have provided put a visual level filter and use the dates from this calendar drill down uh, table in our visualization. Um, I hope um, this video is useful and um, do subscribe my channel uh, until next video have a great day bye for now